Over the next 5 years, it's anticipated that this kind of EB battery will increase its market share. The development of an electric vehicle for less than $20,000 will depend on this battery which might quicken the EV revolution. When prices rise, automakers switch from LFP underrated batteries to NMC gold standard. LFP batteries cost between 40 and 50% less. In particular, if you are an innovation student, you might believe you are familiar with every battery invention. However, a top secret EV battery innovation that you probably never heard of could be a significant factor in the development of next stage of electric vehicle revolution. The trouble with EVs is this. These days, everyone wants to drive one. However, despite all the talk of declining pricing, they remain astronomically expensive. Now, before we continue, hey there and welcome back to Investing Wise Academy. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. This is Jules and let's start! The battery I'm referring to will solve that issue. The development of an electric vehicle for less than $20,000 will depend on this battery which might significantly quicken the EV revolution. Then, finally, everyone who decides to own an electric vehicle will be able to. This battery does change the game. It's not merely a theory or scientific endeavor restricted to labs for study. For example, today's automobiles already use this battery. Not in 2023, 2024, or 2025, but in 2022, it will be ready to transform the globe. It is currently prepared to alter the world. I'm referring to lithium iron phosphate LFB batteries. First, let's start with an overview of battery chemistry for EV stocks. An anode, an electrolyte, and a cathode make up an ordinary battery. When a battery is in use, it encourages the passage of ions from the anode through the electrolyte and to the cathode. Ions return to anode through electrolyte as battery charge. The sample principle applied to EV batteries most frequently lithium ion batteries. The anode is where lithium ions are kept. Lithium ions grow through the electrolyte of automobile battery and into the cathode when a vehicle is being driven. The same lithium ions travel back from the cathode to anode as automobile is being charged. We can easily understand why many resources are devoted to cathode invention in light of this chemistry. When an EV is being driven, lithium ions travel toward the cathode. So the longer the battery lasts and the longer the EV will operate, the better that cathode is absorbing those lithium ions. To put it another way, the EV's driving range is determined by the cathode's absorption characteristics. Longer driving ranges result from higher cathode absorption. Conversely, driving ranges are reduced as a result of lower cathode absorption. Therefore, enhancing the cathode's absorption qualities is one of the most critical issues in EV battery technology. The best way to achieve this is to alter the ratio of different metals in the cathode. During many years of research, every metal composition has been evaluated in the cathode. As a result, the best source of lithium-ion batteries are found to produce by two distinct dominant cathode compositions. One of those compositions is frequently brought up in conversation. The two primary EV battery types, nickel manganese cobalt NMC and lithium-ion phosphate LFP batteries are two main types of lithium-ion battery chemistry. They resemble each other a lot and both function by encouraging the movement of lithium ions. Each one has a graphite anode, and the electrolyte solutions in both are the same. The composition of cathode is what distinguishes LFP batteries from NMC batteries. Nickel, magnesium, and cobalt are combined to make the cathode and NMC batteries. Iron and phosphorus are combined in LFP cathodes. NMC batteries have better absorption qualities than LFP batteries for chemical engineering factors. NMC cathodes are superior to LFP cathodes at absorbing lithium ions. NMC batteries are hence much denser. They are 30% more energy dense. Initially, this means EVs using NMC batteries are lighter, have a more extended range, and recharge faster than EVs with LFP batteries. In nature, NMC batteries outperform LFPs in terms of performance for EVs. NMC batteries have thus emerged as the industry standard for EVs. For many years, EVs were severely constrained by driving distances, recharge times, and vehicle weight. NMC batteries were used by businesses like Tesla to address those issues. Today, NMC or NMC-related batteries make up more than 80% of all EV batteries. Less than 15% of all EV batteries now are LFP batteries. However, during the following 5 years, LFPs are anticipated to increase the EV battery market share significantly. 
why NMC batteries have drawbacks of their own, and they face severe obstacles in today's supply-constrained, expensive global economic context. LFP batteries, not NMCs, will be the primary force behind the next phase of the EV revolution. So, naturally, that has significant financial ramifications. LFP is prepared to transform the globe. NMC batteries are in short outrageous expensive. Additionally, consumers are prioritizing cost over performance in an inflationary economy. Automakers are switching from NMC to LFP batteries as a result, and this science is relatively straightforward. The rare earth metal cobalt serve as the C in NMC. Unfortunately, there isn't much cobalt on the globe by definition. According to our analyst, the global cobalt reserves are fewer than 10 million tons, and the Congo makes up half of that. In many cases, recovering cobalt necessitates costly operations, habitat instability, deforestation, and more. Moreover, cobalt is extremely expensive, more than $30,000 per ton. Additionally, it is vulnerable supply to disruptions, which makes NMC batteries expensive and supply limited by nature. These issues don't exist with LFP batteries. The iron symbol in LFP battery is F. Iron is a standard metal, unlike cobalt. Iron makes up about 5% of the crust of the earth. On the planet, there are 180 billion tons of iron. Iron is found everywhere, yet it is found in exceptionally high amounts in locations like Australia. As a result, iron costs only $90 per ton, a tiny fraction of what cobalt cost. In other words, compared to NMCs, LFP batteries might have a lower energy density, but they're also far less expensive, roughly 40% to 50%. Before we continue, if you want to support this channel more, you might want to try our super thanks, wherein your comments will be highlighted, or you can simply join our membership program. The Factor of Affordability EVs had a driving range of around 200 miles in 2018 and 2019. On the roadways, there were no charging stations. They favored powerful EVs. The situation is entirely different in 2022. Even LFP-powered electric vehicles can travel more than 250 miles on a single charge. There are EV charging stations all over, and inflation is currently at just about 10%. Consumers don't care about high-performance EVs in this scenario. Instead, they want ones they can afford. The Secret to Affordable EVs in LFP Batteries Since last year, almost all leading EV manufacturers have been looking into ways to include additional LFP batteries in their EVs. This does not imply LFP batteries will destroy NMCs. However, a new period of coexistence between LFP and NMC is now beginning. The former serves as the de facto batteries for affordable EVs, while the latter caters to the market for high-end EVs. This investment option is relatively straightforward. The major EV companies of today, including Tesla, Lucid, Rivian, and others, are all producing high-end EVs. However, affordable EVs will propel in the EV revolution next phase, so who will create all of those inexpensive cars? The last word on an innovation for EV stocks. I think the business that will master LFP battery technology and produce the most well-liked and expensive electric vehicle on the market hasn't even created an EV. It hasn't even declared an EV. I'm referring to Apple. That Apple, the company behind the iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple Watch is correct. According to reports, Apple has developing an electric Apple car for many years. The business has not yet made any official announcements. But in the last two years, the pace of rumors has significantly picked up. Many analysts, investors, and enthusiasts believe Apple will introduce its EV by 2024. The likelihood that Apple car will be a significant success is strong, given Apple's track record of success with practically every product it has introduced in its 40-year history and the number of resources it is said to have invested in this project. What then is the relationship to LFE batteries? One of the rumors about the Apple car is that LFE batteries will power it. The business aims to produce an EV that, like the iPhone, is affordable enough to be widely available. Is that the only approach? Battery LFP? Because of this, analysts believe that Apple, a business that hasn't even produced an EV yet, will lead the next phase of the EV revolution, and it will be the main factor in our increase in EV penetration from 10% to 50% or more. The news is exciting. And that's it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Likewise, this is Jules, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos like this. Before you leave, did you know that there's a $5 stock that might blow up to 40 times if Apple car revolutionizes the EV industry as they did in the smartphone? Yes, you heard me right. Well, to learn more about this emerging technology, make sure to click and watch this video here.